Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you checking out and seeing what we've got going on here today. So in outdoors. Thanks again for your viewership. And hey, if you're new to the channel, if you're just clicking on us to see what we're about, take the time, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share it if you like what you see. We greatly appreciate it and it helps us guys grow the channel. And we need all the subscribers that we can get and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you want to see next uh, when it comes to fishing and pretty much anything in the outdoors. We love to hear your feedback. Um, so today I want to talk to you about something that has really been bugging me. It's been driving me crazy now for a couple weeks. So I fished a tournament um, locally here uh, at, at a local lake about two or three weeks ago, I guess. And um, when I was in this tournament, uh, or excuse me, before this tournament, uh, you know, I practiced the day before and I took my daughter with me. Uh, Hunter was busy doing some other things that day and he didn't want to go and my daughter did. So I took her with me and I was just kind of running a pattern that my tournament partner had found a few days earlier. Um, so as I'm running this pattern, there is, I noticed there's a lot of boats on the lake. And of course, I assume so, tournament the next day, first big tournament of the year for this lake, uh, I assume I'm gonna see a lot of boats. What I start to notice is that it's a lot of younger people, and I can see that there is a high school tournament going on. You can see two high school anglers in the boat, plus a boat captain. Here's what's driving me crazy, guys. Some of these younger kids, and I am all in support of youth fishing and involving these kids in the sport of tournament fishing, but I'm really concerned for the lack of respect and the lack of decorum that has showcased, that is being showcased on the water uh, with a lot of these anglers. And I just feel like there's some misdirection there. Maybe some of these uh, boat captains don't fish themselves much or, or haven't really taught them um, you know, proper etiquette. And I hear this from guys that play golf, that some of the younger generation don't follow some of the, the etiquette. And I think that it's across the board. It's not just fishing, but I see it in fishing a lot. Um, so I'm practicing going down the bank. I'm, I'm kind of running this standing timber pattern with an A-rig, um, catching some fish here and there, and I'm getting to the juice, like to the spot. Uh, a channel bend that comes up and hits a point, it is textbook. I'm 30 yards from it. As I pull up, getting close to it, um, fishing my way to it, here comes a high school team. They idle up next to me. Um, they kill the motor, drop the trolling motor in, and literally pull right in front of me. And I mean, guys, if I can cast and hit your boat, you're too close. And they didn't, you know, stay on the outside edge of the trees. I mean, they just blatantly got right in front of me and completely cut me off. And I'm sitting here thinking, yes, you're in a tournament and I'm just practicing. But still, still show some proper etiquette. The polite thing to do would be to maybe go fish a different stretch and come back to that one later. Or ask me, say, hey, you know, I'm fishing a tournament here. Um, are you going to be fishing this area? If you are, I'll leave. And I would have gladly said, guys, go ahead, take it. I'm just running a, you know, a little practice deal today for a tournament tomorrow. Go ahead, fish it. But no, that was not the case. Instead, they completely cut me off, which really frustrated me. Um, and then after I catch a couple fish on an A-rig, they take note to it, put their spinner bait down, and pick up an A-rig and go right to work wrecking them right where I plan on starting in the tournament the next morning. They come right ahead of me, see me throwing an A-rig, put their stuff down. Kudos to them for paying attention to their surroundings and seeing someone else catching fish on a different bait and making that change. And then I watch them put a couple keepers in the boat right in front of me. Now, in my opinion, the boat captain 
is the responsible party here. The boat captain is the one who needs to step up and say, uh, they're the one driving the boat, but they're the one who needs to step up and say, guys, uh, we can't cut this guy off. Let's go fish another stretch. We'll come back or let's talk to him and let's work it out. We want to fish here. He wants to fish here. Let's work it out. I see it too many times where these guys will absolutely just come right up in your back pocket. And most of the time, not in your back pocket. They'll jump right in front of you. And it just really aggravated me. And, and I've been thinking about talking about it for a while, but um, I, I didn't want to stir the pot because I don't want to sound like I don't support youth fishing. I do. My son is obsessed with it. He loves fishing tournaments. I am 100% supportive uh, of youth fishing and high school fishing. I just feel like sometimes these guys need to understand what is right and what is wrong and a lot of the unwritten unspoken rules you know in the game um, cutting someone off is one of them um, riding up on somebody when they're they're fishing an offshore area and moving in on their offshore area is another one seeing where a guy catches fish in one day of a multi-day tournament and then going back and and fish in his area the second day these are all things that I'm starting to see a lot from some of the younger anglers and it, they don't act like it phases them. Like that's not a big deal. Um, I have no problem with offshore areas, sharing water. I don't mind fishing around people. Uh, I don't mind sharing backwater areas, but I definitely would appreciate if some of these younger guys would communicate. Don't just assume that I'm okay with you doing it. I'll probably let you do it if you ask. The point is, it's not about what you're doing as much as it is not even acknowledging that someone else was there first. Um, I'm sure other people have had this happen locally um, and ran into this issue, but I feel like that in bass fishing anymore, where is the decorum? Where is the etiquette? It's gone. And it's not just in bass fishing. It's across the board. Some of the, the younger generation, I feel like a lot of times the etiquette is, is to the wayside. And I, I hope that there is a lot of good old boys out there that are taking the time to teach their kids and their high school teams and their college teams proper etiquette and, and the way to handle yourself on the water and communicate with people um, because it makes it, you know, it, it, even if I wasn't fishing a tournament or if I was, even if I was just out crappie fishing, uh, if you take the time to communicate that with me, then, then I don't feel like you're stepping on my water or my area. Um, and I know everybody laughs when you say that because, oh, well, it's public water. You can fish anywhere. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But being polite about it and cordial about it is super important. Um, in, in all aspects of, of life and not just in fishing. Let me know what you guys think. Have you had this happen to you? Have you ran into this situation? I'm going to bet that if you are a fisherman, you've dealt with this before. Maybe not always from the younger generation, maybe the older generation. There have been some conflicts on the water and I try to avoid them as much as possible, but sometimes them suckers just find me. You all have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. We are headed to the Bassmaster Classic. It starts today. Actually, started today, uh, as this will not post until later in the evening. Um, so we are headed to the Bassmaster Classic. We will be down there to see a bunch of the folks down there and a lot of the new products that, uh, that are coming out on the market. Um, and just to have a really good time in Rocky Top, my favorite place in the country, Tennessee. That's where I want to be. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. You all have a great day, great weekend. Hey, if it warms up this weekend, go catch you one. Don't let nobody cut you off, though. Put your foot down.